Do you like to eat seafood? I do, but we might want to think twice or at least see where our seafood's coming from. Last month, Japan completed its fifth release of treated radioactive water waste from the Fukushima nuclear power station into the Pacific Ocean. And we think the world is so big, but it's not going to come over to us in the United States. We're wrong. Despite the scientists warning about the potential risks, the U.S. committed to buying seafood from Japan. Meanwhile, China, Russia, South Korea, they all banned Japanese seafood imports over these contamination concerns, and the U.S. took a more supportive stance. They actually announced that the U.S. military would purchase bulk Japanese seafood for, for their service members stationed at bases in Japan. These are the people that are protecting us, and this is what we're feeding them. He also mentioned plans to counteract China's ban on the Japanese seafood. He emphasized that the agreement between Japan and the U.S. Armed Forces was long term. So this is going to last and this is going to continually affect us. About a month before this announcement, the Japanese embassy hosted a sushi, sushi tasting event. I mean, are you serious right now? We are like promoting something that is literally could cause chronic disease and we know the dangers of radio contamination. So this radioactive water is stored in tanks holding about 1.3 million metric tons, enough to fill 500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Japan is running out of storage space and needs the land for facilities to safely decommission the plants. So what else is going on? There's so many industries and so many agencies that are opposing this water release, arguing that the risks have not been properly assessed, but we also know that there's damage to these toxins. Um, they sampled just a small portion from the tanks and found a significant amount of radionucleotides, but like strontium-90 and cesium-137. And last summer, since last summer, Japan has released approximately 39 thousand tons of contaminated water with plans to discharge a total of 54,600 tons in seven rounds during this year. So this entire process is expected to take decade, decades and is going to affect our generation and future generations. So what do we do with this information? Here we are. If you're listening to this podcast, you probably take care of your health or you try, right? And we try to control everything we can, but there's certain things that are out of our control. Our food system is being adulterated, our water system as well, fluoride, these contaminants. Now we've got radioactive um, agencies or, or elements in our waters and now in our fish, right? So what do we do about this? Well, we need to do things that are preventative and proactive, unfortunately. So sudden signs of increased in toxicity and radiation in your body. Number one, let's look for these signs. Unexplained weight gain. So many people are explaining, Sarah, I have not changed anything and 20 pounds have just appeared. So as a survival mechanism, the body produces extra fat cells to wrap around the toxins, to store them in our body away from our bloodstream, right? So we got to get those toxins and the radiation out. The fat cells just get bigger and bigger and bigger, and we might create new fat cells to store these uh, toxins in. You might have unexplained depression, anxiety, or a change in mood. That is known from radiation. Um, unexplained lack of motivation. Skin breakouts. So many people are getting these random skin breakouts. Well, your skin is your largest detox organ. And if the liver and the kidneys are overwhelmed, which most of those are, for all of us, they're trying to push, push the toxins out through the skin. You might have pain in your joints and bones, or insomnia. EMFs and radiation rattle our DNA and disrupt its normal frequency. And as a result, you may um, not be able to sleep. This is where the accelerated radiation and heavy metals detox cleanse comes in to support your body's detoxification pathways so that we can get the radiation and the heavy metals and all these toxins out. Because it's not just the radioactive water that these fish are swimming in that we might eat. It's the GMOs, the glyphosate, the radiation from our cell phones, the 
fluoride in our water, the xenoestrogens, the spike protein, they are all stacking up and our liver says no more, I can't do anymore. And that's where the chronic disease sets in, the unexplained weight gain, the unexplained brain fog, Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's has been in the news so much because so many people are getting it at a much faster rate. Cancer rates in young people is skyrocketing. All of these things are happening, not just because of one thing. Now, number one, figure out where your fish is coming from, right? Make sure it's not coming from the Asias. Make sure it is um, wild, right? We want to stick to the wild animal protein, and that means wild fish as well. And then with the, the accelerated radiation and heavy metals detox cleanse, it is designed for the supplements to work synergistically to help you feel good while you're doing it. Boost your ATP. What's that? That's your mitochondrial health. That is your cellular health. That is what's going to give you brain energy and physical energy. It's also going to boost your immune system and eliminate the radiation and the toxins that are in there. So you're filling up your body with the acceleridine iodine. This is the only monoatomic iodine. That means it's I minus. Let's go back to chemistry class. Now, all other iodine supplements they usually have two molecules and the body's got to break apart the molecule to create the AI minus. And that I minus goes to all the cells in the body, kicks out the toxins and fills the receptor site. So you've got receptor sites for iodine and all the cells, right? So if you don't have enough iodine in your body, guess what fills those receptor sites? radiation, toxins, all of these other things that we don't want. So when you have sufficient iodine in the body, it prevents these other toxins from taking hold of the body and also kicks out the ones that are already there. So this is number one. And you have to remember that your cell's membrane has a, a saturated and unsaturated fatty layer, but those layers have an iodolipid value, meaning iodine fat value. So you need iodine for your cell's membrane. And that's to get the nutrients into the cell and the toxins out. Without iodine for the cell membrane, you can't do that. Then you need the iodine inside the cell to produce ATP for mitochondria. And that is your cellular energy. I don't care if you're on the paleo diet, the vegan diet, the carnivore diet, eating carbs, eating fat, whatever you're eating, the goal is to increase energy, to increase ATP. So you should be on the ATP diet. And the cornerstone of that is iodine. That is the cornerstone of the radiation and heavy metals detox cleanse. We also have the accelerated colloidal silver. Well, radiation and toxins suppress the immune system. And then that is going to make it so your body can't do much, right? Because if it's fighting something over here, it can't do all of its normal functions over here. So that's where the accelerated silver comes in. It helps devitalize the foreign pathogens. And then you've got the nuke no more. This is designed to work with the accelerodyne iodine. This is to help with radiation. Radiation, ever-growing threat, causes diseases, including cancer. Nuke no more helps support the elimination of all ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. The accelerated ancient salt. So salt is needed. It's not a bad thing, but the right salt, unrefined salt. Accelerated ancient salt has over 62 minerals. It's free of the microplastics. It's enhanced with scalar frequencies to detox the body from radiation and heavy metals. How is that so? Well, you've got a sodium potassium pump inside and outside the cells. Without the sodium and potassium, you can't get the toxins out of the cells and the nutrients in. And the salt plumps up the blood to get the toxins out and help flush things out. It also helps with bile and fat, fat um, metabolism in the liver. Then you have the accelerated cellular detox powder. This is key. Why? Because when you detox, you might feel yucky, right? That detox flu symptoms because you're taking those toxins from the fat cells back into the blood to get them out of the body. And you might feel flu-like and you might feel yucky. Well, this soaks up the toxins really quick to pull those toxins through the bowels and out of the body, bypassing the liver and the kidneys to make things 
easier and much more effective. So that is the radiation and heavy metals detox cleanse. You guys, we are under threat in our food supply, our air supply, our water supply. It is essential to really follow the accelerated food guide, eat your wild animal protein, wild fish from safe places, and make sure you're not eating the oxalates, the sulfur, the amyloids, and the wrong fats that I talk about in the accelerated food guide. Those are the foods and the things that we can control to prevent all of these unexplained symptoms and accelerated aging and accelerated disease. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for tuning in today. If you need my help with your health concerns, you don't know where to start, reach out to me at sarahbanthealth.com. Happy to put together a protocol for you and join my free group coaching on Telegram. There's no downside. I share daily tips and tools to improve your health and answer your questions. And you will be surrounded by an amazing group of people who are on a similar path. There's more information at sarahbanthealth.com. Of course, don't forget to follow me on social media at Accelerated Health Products, and you can catch this podcast on over 100 platforms, including Spotify, iTunes, and iHeartRadio. Just search Accelerated Health TV and Radio Show. Remember, I'm live on Mondays and Tuesdays and a bonus one on Thursdays, so make sure you subscribe and you can use coupon WELCOME10 to get 10% off your first order. Thanks again for joining us here and have a fantastic week.